Okay, this is take two because it was a 15 minute rambling session and it shouldn't have been. This is about whether or not it worked me um, cutting um, out the lights in the kitchen overnight and just using the um, cell phone um, and, on, you know, if I needed to, um, turn it on very briefly. And the answer is yes, it saved me about $3 from the exact same time last year. Um, and it was about 50 kilowatt hours less, but I saved about 40 to $50 from last month. But that's, again, that's normal. It goes down this time of year. But I'm thinking I'll uh, keep doing it at least most nights. And no, I didn't do it every night. But it's not an all or nothing thing. I probably managed to, and I didn't do it the whole month because I didn't even think of it the whole month. So I might actually may save even more. And But the good thing is, is this is the time of year that uh, my light bill just naturally goes down. Um, it's usually in the 50 to $70 range, um, and the actual usage is usually, uh, about, um, anywhere from 300 kilowatt hours to, uh, a little, um, less than 650 kilowatt hours for the next uh, few months. That's what it averages. Um, so we'll see. Um, but just want to report it did save me a few dollars. And um, I'm thinking about trying the peak hour uh, thing, but uh, honestly I don't think it would really help me because when I use the air conditioner or when I use the heater um, during the extreme part of summer and the extreme part of winter, which it's nothing like Minnesota or Arizona, okay? But like, um, it does get up to where it feels like it's 120 in the shade. You know what I mean? It's like very humid, hot. You lose your breath when you go outside, or at least I do with my COPD. So, you know, it's not great. And then, in winter, sometimes it's barely above freezing. And I know in other places it gets way colder than that, but still, you know, that's pretty cold. So, I haven't completely decided, and I think you have to keep it for a month or two, which makes sense, because you want to see if it works or not, you know. But I do think you have to give it either a 30-day or 60-day trial or something like that. And uh, if I didn't have to give it all of the time, and honestly, in the winter, I do use at least some heat, 24-7. I take turns turning them all off, like the kitchen when I, I turn it off and turn on the one in the bedroom and in the bathroom. And then I'll turn the one off in the bathroom during the day. And then I'll turn the one off in the bedroom and turn the kitchen back up. You know, you know what I'm saying? Um, and um, the living room is close enough to the kitchen to where if I'm in the living room, I'll turn it on. And sometimes they're all three going, but usually it's just two. Um, and definitely not for over a few hours, but just to keep the um, heater cords from getting too hot. Although, at least two of them have a feature where if the cords get too hot, they will turn themselves off. Um, and they have done so, that's how I know. Uh, but, um, I just wanted to say that if you're bound to determine to find something that will work, you can lower your light bill. Um, and leave your comment below if you found something that works for you and your 
family. Um, and I think I'm going to stop with this because it doesn't really warrant a 10 or 15 minute video. In fact, that's why I redid it because it was over 15 minutes and it was heading toward 20 and I didn't want it to be that long. Um, I just rambled a little too much, but um, this is slowly getting over five minutes, so we will stop here and I'll say please like, subscribe, comment, share this if you found it useful, and um, I probably might do a few more tonight, or I might wait till Thursday or Friday and do a few more, a few batches. Uh, because I'm trying to get caught back up to be at least two weeks ahead. Uh, but, um, if you won't leave a comment, tell me if you like the true crime better, or the frugal better, or you would rather me do biographies or what. Because there are some things that I find very interesting, and I would definitely consider doing videos on. And then other things that aren't my cup of tea. I'm not going to do videos on things I don't like. Um... And so, this is the video. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to put this up tonight for about a week and a half from now. And I actually thought I was like two weeks ahead, but I looked earlier and actually did the math. And it's more like a week ahead, week and a half ahead. I'm about four or five videos ahead in real terms. Um, but I want it to be more than that. But anyway, um, I'll quit this rambling now. Bye-bye.